Hello? You hear that knock? That's like somebody stomped. It is speculation that when he opened up the letter, it enraged John. I'm an angel and in hell. My name is Zach. I've been to some of the most haunted places in America. I've had doors open in front of me. I've had doors slam when no one else is around. I've even walked the halls of Trans Allegheny, the most haunted destination in America. I've even jumped in the portal of hell at Bobby Mackey's. Come with me as I take you on my haunted travels, most of the time alone. What was that? Oh my god! This is Ghostly Travels with Zach. What's up guys? We are at another location as we normally are. And tonight, on this foggy, foggy night, we are here at the Stark saloon now this place was owner and operated by jane and john stark and after shortly moving into this place john took a liking to jane's sister and they ended up having an affair starting right here now there's a long story behind it i'm not too familiar with the whole thing now, after john took a liking to jane's sister they ended up having an affair and had a baby and she was only 17. Now, they didn't want to kick her out after they were having this affair, but they didn't know what else to do, and Jane ended up moving away. Now, it is told that Jane ended up having an affair while John and Bertha, the sister, were still here. Now, the only reason John found that out is because there was a letter that was sent to him. They don't know if it was a rumor or if it was for real. And John ended up, during the daylight, during operating hours of the saloon, came right through this door and shot her. And she bled onto the floor. And then he took his own life, blew his brains out right next to it. This was a murder-suicide, and it was very gruesome. We are inside. We are inside. And just taking a first glance, I mean, it's got original wallpaper. I did turn on the lights real fast to kind of show you guys. Whoop. I mean, this place you can tell just has history written all over it. And, you know, who knows what kind of things uh, happened here as this was a brothel upstairs. And also the saloon part, which I will take you to now. The saloon part is in here. This is the saloon area. As you can see, um, supposedly this is the exact spot. This is where John would have passed away. And this is where Jane would have passed away. It was right in these spots. There's dogs outside. But yeah, this is the saloon. Right where I showed you. If you want to walk through these doors. He walked right through here. Just came up and shot her. It is a really sad story. It was never confirmed if she was actually cheating or not. But uh, maybe we can find that out. I'm going to take you upstairs. Um, I'm not really... Uh, Okay, with the whole upstairs as it is, like the flooring is kind of, uh, and I've already fallen through a floor once. I really don't want to do that again. So I'll just kind of show you around really fast. Um, this is the upstairs of the Stark Saloon. I am 100% alone. I am 100% alone. 
I mean, the brothel was up here. Who knows if these were, this was the room for a brothel. I don't know. I've never been exactly told and I don't think still a lot of people know. So, um, who knows what we're gonna find out tonight. As we are starting in the Stark Saloon, we are here. We have the recorder, we have a, another, we have another uh, thing going on in the other room. Um, another, this, was my home. this was my home. And as I explained, this was Jane and John's uh, home. They actually lived here. Or they lived off property, but they spent a lot of time here. So we have set up everything right where this unfortunate event would have took place. Um, we are alone at the Stark Saloon. So my name is Zach. I don't mean any, any harm or disrespect. I'm simply here to try to figure out what happened on that day. Maybe what led up to that day. Um, it's only stories and speculation, but maybe you could tell me in your own words, in your own voice, what happened. I've set out some of this equipment here for you. Okay. It's just for you and I to communicate. Um, feel free to use it. You don't have to, but yeah, it's just going to be you and I for a little bit. And I hope that I get to experience, um, just talking to you. Maybe you could teach me something. What do you think? Sorry if you don't like the whole wiggling. I got some complaints about it last time and I don't mean to. I'm on a tripod. Sorry. <clears throat> Excuse me. So. Here we go. John, Jane, or anyone else, feel free to come talk to me. You can say your name. You can tell me to get out. Whatever you want to do to show me you are here, okay? I can use this. You can use... I can use it. You can use what? The stuff in front of me? Absolutely. Absolutely you can use it. Go ahead. Use it if you would like. Just show me you're here. Again, my name is Zach. And I'm going to start this recording where I can hear your voice. Ready? One... Two. I don't know what that noise is. Three. Hi, Jane. Hi, John. If either one of you are here, can you tell me hello? It just said, don't tell, as I heard two knocks. Do you want to tell me? Car. What is it that I, we're not supposed to talk about? I'm hearing some knocks, but it could be anything. I don't know what that noise is outside. Witness. Oh, witness. Hi, Jane. Hi, John. If either John or Jane, if you really could use some of this equipment, because it's going to be hard to hear you tonight. Can you come step forth? Patricia. Who's Patricia? Come in this room with me. Hello? Car. This is a very busy road. Did you have a lot of business, John, with all the road, with it being next to the road? Hmm. 
What does that say? Did it say blood? Below. Now this is a spirit box. It scans through radio frequency. It scans through radio frequency. I'll be able to hear your voice. Okay, say whatever you want. Okay, here we go. Can I get somebody to come tell me hello? No. Is John here? This say I'm beside the chair? Yo! Did this just say I'm beside the chair? What? Which is the spot where he would have took his life? Dude. Jane, are you here? Can you tell me what happened that night? Is there anybody from the brothel? Andrea? Is there an Andrea here? Ooh, piano music, like in the back in those days. Was there a piano in here in the saloon? Is there anything dark here? John, why did you take your own life? Got out of the position? Do you know what you did by killing your wife was wrong? Why did you kill your wife? Did you say bitch? Did you just call me a bitch? Ooh. I'm an angel and in hell. Oh, he's neither. What? These are like on responses, like on command responses. Did you go to hell, John? Is hell real? Can you knock over that broom, John? Ooh. Hello? What do I need to do to get you to come talk to me? I need to do to get you to come talk to me. I'm by myself. I'm vulnerable. Church. Church? I need to go to church? Probably. It's been a while. <laughs> well, thank you. I'd really like you to interact with these items I've placed on the floor, though. Okay? We are now upstairs. 
Uh, this would have been the brothel area. Don't know exactly where. This is where they were getting jiggy with it, right? Waiting for the car to go by. If anybody's up here, my name is Zach. What's yours? Are you able to make a sound? If I can hear it. Are any ghosts getting it on right now? Can I get a, oh yeah? I thought I heard a voice when I did that. I didn't hear anything. I'm curious what it said though. Begin and careful as I'm upstairs. And I was just talking about how the floor is really bad. And that's like right when I was starting on the, the recorder, it said begin. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. So that was a bit strange. You're gonna come outside with me and check this out. The spirit talker right after this said, I'm reaching, or right before it said, I'm reaching out. That just like pulled out and then just went back in casually as I'm standing right here. Can you do that again if that was you? Pull that out. And push it back in. We're gonna check outside. Oh, it is foggy. Oof. There's like no wind out here. That's pretty high up. Okay, that's a bit strange. I haven't heard that noise the entire time I've been here. I'm not really sure what made that noise or why it did that. So what we're gonna do now is just kind of sit in the dark with a voice recorder and hopefully we get something. So I'm going to turn this light almost all the way down. And hopefully we get something. I don't know, I'm hearing some weird noises outside. There's a door is though. So let's go ahead and turn this light down. To where you can see the voice recorder. And that'll be it. Okay, so the voice recorder is on. If there's anything you'd like to say, Jane or John, this is your time. Were you upset, John, that you cheated?
Jane, did you cheat on John? Car. Let's say get out of here. Listen to that. What? This is like it says get out of here. We are now going to do the spirit box to uh, see if we can get anything else. Uh... It's been kind of quiet, you know. It's been kind of quiet. So here we go. Hi. Can you come talk to me? I heard that music again, like the piano music. John, are you dark? Like, are you like a said hell earlier? I'm not hearing anything really significant. What year is it? I'm getting you? Did love make you do such a horrible act? Yeah. John, you know that was wrong, right? I live on. Is this Jane? Or is this John? It said, I live on. So, with all that you've heard tonight, everything that you've seen, everything that you kind of heard on the recorder, Anything like that, I just felt a cold breeze behind me. Do you think this place is haunted? Or does it need more energy? Or do you think they've passed on? I don't know. You let me know. But with all that being said, make sure we like, subscribe, interact with it down below. And I will see you on the next one.